Hi guys and happy Saturday. Today is December 18th and it is a week before Christmas. No snow on the ground here in the Chicagoland area, but that's all right. We can handle it. I'm going to make a card today and I've mailed out all my examples. So you're going to have to trust me that this is a fabulous looking card once we get done. And I have changed my angle on my camera, so I hope it records okay. Um, if not, uh, you'll let me know, right? So I've decided, I'm going to move my chair out of the way. I am going to be using Blessings of Home. I love this. It's what we used um, for On Stage at Home. And it's also going to be in the upcoming mini catalog, the January to June mini catalog. So it's a nice stamp set, has some good dies in it too. Oh my gosh, my paper bags from my last class are flinging down. So it's a really good stamp set. So I'm going to be using this. And so I'm also going to be using their designer paper. Um, so let me bring that over just because, of course, I didn't have it. So it is Heart and Home. And I think I have over here, let me look. I think I have my sheet done. Yes, there we go. So that's some of the new papers that are, or DSPs that are coming out. So here's Heart and Home. And so you can see that it's using these different colors, using this as well as the backgrounds are all wood grains. So very, very cool. Okay, what I'm gonna be using today is, I think I'm gonna be using, because my favorite color now, I'm really loving, the fresh freesia, but I'm also kind of torn with the pale papaya. I go back and forth between those two. So I think today I'm gonna to be using one of these. So I'm gonna be using the pale papaya as my card base, okay? And I wanted to let you know, let me go over here and grab it. I wanted to let you know that I do two sheets at a time, and I'll tell you why. You'll be able to make three cards out of it and um, have very little leftover. All right. So here we're going to do. Now I've kind of modified this. I watched this on. Um, oh, Dawn. Dawn. I never know if it's Dawn Griffith or Dawn Griffin, but it's um, her YouTube channel, um, her Dawn Stamping Thoughts. So, but I've modified it because she likes lots of layers. And even though layers are nice and they look pretty, mailing them, I always have to buy those um, extra uh, hand stampable, hand cancel uh, stamps because they get to be pretty thick. And I like putting bling on, of course, and all that. So anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut up for three, but I'm only going to, you know, make one. So we're going to cut that at... Five and a half by eight and a half. Now, if you want to, you could do all your scoring at once. That's what I did this morning. That way, it's all scored for you already. But just so we kind of keep it on the up and up, we'll just do the one. So we've cut that, and we're going to score this at three and a fourth. Six and a half. Let me bring that out. Sorry. There's my six and a half. And then seven and a half. Okay, so if you want, you know what, I am going to do all of them at once. That way I have them um, all for later. Six and a half. Oh, I went to five and a half. Oh, look, we'll use this one cut. All right, sorry, that first one is three and a fourth. Three and a fourth. Then six and a half. And then seven and a half. You know what? I'll just do two for now. How about that? Since I've already messed one up, let me grab the bone folder. And we're going to go ahead and get all those sides done up like that to begin with. All 
All right, and this is the way the card's going to be. You're going to have that first flap there, and then it's going to be kind of like a very fancy N. Look at that, a very fancy N. Okay, let me do this other one. There you are. There's your N again. All right. And the third one, except we messed that one up. All right. So that's that. Now, on this next one, you can go ahead and uh, do a white layer. I don't do the white layer until I've done my, my um, designer paper. That way, I can figure out if I want to. So I will put all the little measurements on the side if need be. But we're going to try doing this one without it. All right, so now this is going to go across, so we're going to do this at five and a fourth. So we want it to be the long way. Five and a fourth, so that's a fourth less than that length. That way you have your layer. And then we're going to cut one at three. And then two at three-fourths. So there you are. I'll put this aside for now. So since I don't, I rarely, um, I rarely actually stamp on it. I'm going to, oh, where's my, oh, there's my stamp and seal. Thought I had to get out a new one. There it is. All right, let me get out my silicone mat over here. Make sure I have it on the right side. All right, so this one is going to go right here. And your two, three, fourths, two that are five and a fourth by three fourths, not two and three fourths. I actually wrote in the directions that way originally. And I'm like, oh no, because then I'm like, where does the two and three fourths go? I don't understand. Now this one is going to be on your inside. So if you want it to be, so when they're looking down, it's upside down or right side up, doesn't matter. People may not even notice that you have anything on the inside. Oh, see, and I am out of, I knew that's why I was getting ready with another one. Plus, I also ruined my stamp and seal plus. Well, I didn't ruin it because even if it gets stuck and starts feeding out wrong, I just lay it down and um, use the sticky side. Oh my gosh, I even have nails and I can't get... Well, I don't have nails. I have maybe three nails. Oh my gosh, that's strong. Yeah, very few nails. All right, anyway, so... Let's get that stamp and seal back in there. There we go. It gets much quieter when you put a new one in. All right, so let's go ahead and put that one in there like that. Okay. Great. So now, remember on that piece I said, if you do three, you'll have that one that you're not using. Here you're going to cut another um, another component. This is still, it's your five and a half this way, but we're going to cut at two and seven eighths. Oh, cut. And then score at one and a half. You would think I'd get used to how I have my blades. I've always, I've had the screw at the top for a long while. I used to always have it at the bottom. Okay, and this is going to be a flat piece like this. 
All right. So here's where you need to decide how much white you want to have, whether it be basic white, shimmer white. Uh, you could actually use the very vanilla too because you're going to have a piece here as well as if you want to use this for where you're going to write your message. Okay, so I thought I had some shimmer white already cut, but I might have thrown it in my stack. You know my, oh, here it is, right here. You know how my craft room is, people. It's a mess. So here's this. So write or stamp your message on there if you want. But then we're going to take this and we're going to put something here. So if you want to layer it with this color too, with your um, designer series paper, you're going to do it at... Uh, now I forgot. I lost my train of thought. So it's going to be three and three fourths by two and a half. So two and a half by three and three fourths. See how that is? See how. So you have a nice little edge there. All right. Let's tape that down. So now if you want to have an even smaller one, since that is at, I'm sorry, you can't see it that way. Let's do it this way. So see how that's two and three fourths. So then you would go down to let's see if that's two and three fourths. So this would be two and a half. Then it would be two and a fourth by by three and a fourth. Two and a fourth by three and a fourth. All right. I'm stammering around here because I just had that shimmer white again and now I can't figure out where I put it besides this piece. Okay, let me run over and get a piece. Uh, shimmery white. Love it, love it, love it. So, I think I said, let's see, so... This is, this one was two and three fourths approximately. So let's go two and a half. So this is how I really do it, guys. So I have so many strips to make those strips cards with. There we go. And now let's measure this. That's approximately three and a half then. There you go. See, that's why I really don't agree with having that much of a, using that designer paper again. I just think you're covering up a lot of pretty designer paper. But do what you want. Do what you want. Okay, so now let's grab this. I'm gonna go ahead and use One of my bigger blocks. I'm going to stamp it up once just because I want it to be a little bit softer. And then we're going to use this one at full strength. Add another one underneath here. Or you know what? I'm going to use cinnamon cider for the words.
Very nice. All right, put it over there. Let me grab some fresh cream jar. Oh, okay. Let's just grab these two. So I have soft succulent, the light, and fresh freesia, the light. And even though fresh freesia is not in this, I don't want to do a flower with a different color scheme. I mean, this is in the overall designer paper, but it's just not with this one that we're using right now. And I'm just going to, I don't ever color all the way to the lines. And I'll show you why in a second. And then let me just dab around here on these. All right, put a little bit of that soft succulent on the leaves. I don't color a lot, guys. You can probably tell why. All right. I got a little bit there, and I've got that one there. Go, go to the, oh, I forgot that one there. All right, so then I'm gonna go here. And just get those stems. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color in that. I'm gonna let it set for a second, and I'm gonna go over it again so it gets a little bit darker. And then I'm going to take the color lifter. And this is why I don't go all the way to the edge. I'm going to go over those petals. And give it a second. Remember, it's alcohol based, so you have to let it dry. You can see how that's fading it just a little bit now. So that darker center. Now, yes, you can use, if you want to, you can use the dark color. But I like this because it makes me feel like it's more like nature. All right, so let's give that a second to dry. And see how... It just really blends it out a little bit. All right, get back to the stamp and seal. Put that on there. Okay, so now here, you're going to figure out where you want this to go. I think I want it to be off one to the side so then what I'm going to do is just put tape on this very bottom part here. All right. Make sure there's none over the edge. All right. So there we have that. And then you're going to come here and fold this down. Oh, I picked up some adhesive from there. That's what I get for not using my silicone mat. So there you can see. Now if I stand it up, of course you're not going to be able to see it. But it will stand like this. Let me burnish that a little bit more. So it'll stand up like an easel card. And then... 
like I said, you can write your message and then adhere this down. I'm just going to go ahead and adhere it down for now. Now, it gets to be a little bit thick, so you may have to use that extra ounce or that special stamp for the, you know, hand stamping. Um, and, of course, we got to get out the genial gems. I tell you, they're starting to go down. It's about time to reorder them. I'm ready to go to my last pack. So let me go ahead here. Oh, my goodness. Look what I did there. I must have twisted it a little bit inside of there. So let's go. One there, one there, and one there. And if you want to, and I did this, I sent one of these cards to my upline, and I had used these leaves, and I had cut them out, and then I taped them on the back side here so they looked like they were standing up. Now, I don't have any cut out right now. I'm not going to run through it, but so you could also do that if you want to, to have them poking out behind here or the back. But there you are. I'll put the examples I already mailed today to my two nieces who graduated, my mom and dad, for their anniversary. I did this style card, used different stamp sets, but you get the picture. So there you are. A nice, let me see if I can take my phone down without turning you off. Sorry. So there you are. Look how pretty that is. And hopefully this didn't go upside down when I brought this down. All right, guys. Thanks a lot and have a great Saturday.